protective screen against Mario Sperry on the right of screen from Brazil. Both men waiting to shoot in a big front in the hand it was by Vernon. Didn't quite find the mark. Oh, there's a in chair by Vernon. Let it go, Vernon. Keep moving. Keep getting fight. Mario just waiting for the opportunity, looking at his man. Good job again by Vernon. Mario moving in. The Berry Man, the Super Mario Man going to do from here, lean that shoulder into Vernon's neck yet again, and Sperry already proving the aggressor in this round, according to our aggressor meter. He's got the meter running in his favour again. Nasty boy, Mario Sperry, as he said when he was a young boy. He was a nasty boy, and he's certainly living up to that reputation here tonight. He's turned into a, master, a nasty man, and uh, he's going to work and doing the job so far on, on Vernon. But uh, Vernon doing very well for himself at this stage keeping him tight and not letting anything go couple of left hands there by Mario to the side of the head of Vernon brings one back to the ribs of his own and they're just leverage moves by Mario Sperry trying to gain a more superior position on his opponent Vernon White there was maybe a short headbutt Vernon uh, trying to arch out of the out of the control position get Mario off him but uh, it's finding a little bit a little bit difficult the body weight is, is right down on him and uh, he's decided just to chip away there at the floating ribs maybe and just bide his time, lock up Mario's leg and uh, just see what he can see and see where this, uh, where this game, where this move is going to lead to. Well, you hit that one on the head, Mark the Hammer. Pardon the pun. We see the uh, intrigued viewers there at ringside again. Cage side, I should say, where all the action is at the moment. Mario Sperry tying up Vernon White. And I'll tell you what, leaning your body weight down on a man like that, it's got to take it out of Vernon White. You'd have to, you'd have to ha actually have this done to you to appreciate how much energy is being expelled there. Vernon, he's got a man of approximately 90 kilos leaning down and bearing down on him with all that body weight. And he's going to have to be having, uh, finding it hard to breathe. Vernon White, Mario has a hold from behind. What can White do to get out of this situation? Oh, there's a big You can bet on it. What a ripper! Mark the hammer. That came out of nowhere and momentarily got him out of trouble. Well, he felt, he felt where Mario was. He knew the head was roughly in that area, and he let that reverse elbow go. That was a, that was a great move. Great anticipation there by Vernon, a young man with a very big future in this style of fighting. I tell you what, Mark the hammer. I have seen caged fights from right around the world, but this has been one of the most technically brilliant cage fights. Seen. I'd have to agree with you, Michael. I've seen most of them, and this show in Australia is certainly one of the best in the world. You, you'd have to go a long way to see the night of entertainment that we've seen so far. A winner headbutt there! Oh, oh, again. Again. Mario Harry tucking the head down, tucking the chin down, and copping them right on top of the cranium. Sweeps the legs and takes Vernon down. And look at the aggressive meter. Vernon White getting more aggressive. He's getting it a little bit of his own way now, Vernon. There's a forward headlock. Well, the Australians, they love an underdog and they've certainly uh, taken Vernon under their wing and they're urging him, on, urging him to, to fight off the Super Mario and uh, see what he can do. Right against the cage, both fighters. Mario. See Vernon's fingers locked there. He's got him in a nice tight grip. And he's just getting himself together. And he's going to go for another move now, Mario. He's, he's happy to bide his time as well. This is just a sensational matchup. A real war on the floor. Technically superb, both of these men. See Mario just butting his head in there. Just that, those little things that are very hard to pick. But in there. Oh, here he goes to work. He's going to work now, Jordan, with those hands. Shiny out, 158 no rules fights to this man. Only one loss, and that was eight years ago. The blue belt. And there goes the bell. And there 
there goes the end of the third and final round. Mario Spiri finishing the aggressor. What a fantastic fight we have seen between two of the most superb couples you ever like to come across. That's great sportsmanship from these men. They still have great respect for each other. And that, that is what the martial arts is about. A standing ovation there, Mark. A standing ovation Certainly for those in the crowd that can appreciate true grappling at its very finest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the result. The winner from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Miles Wary. Well, the man from Brazil has done it. Mario Spiri takes the goods and moves into the semi-final. Let's go to the replays. And we see Mario moving in here to shoot on his opponent, Vernon White. That's coming to you from ref cam. Certainly is, Michael. And I'd say, I'd have to say, I agree with that judge's decision. Here we see Vernon with a reverse headlock, taking Mario to ground. He put up a great fight, this young man, and he's got a big future ahead of him. Good mover, good footwork. Mario coming in for that shoot again, wanting to take Vernon down and get him on the floor where he's comfortable and uh, put in some of, those, some of those moves that he's renowned for and that uh, we've seen in Alabama, of course, where uh, he was successful as well. Well, Alabama, he went to the mat with Mario Bustamante and, of course, took care of business over there. And all this experience of Mario Sperry comes from 10 years training with the master Carlson Gracie. Oh, the Gracie Jiu Jitsu, there's awesome. that elbow. Master Hammer, see the sweat fly off his brow. But then he had the good presence of mind to take Vernon down and get out of trouble. He tucked in and then took him to the ground. You'll see he's, he's switched his head around and then he's just gone for that dump, taking him over and he's, he'll quickly move into the man position from there. And Here he's going to work with his hands. He's created an opening, seen the head out there for the taking and just, just popped in those left and rights. I'll tell you what, one too many of those will make Vernon wish he was someplace else and Mario Sperry just went to work for him 